Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's David here. Today, I want to show you how to downgrade your PSP version 631 or 635. Now, to prove to you that I, I, I am on 635 or 631 or whatever, there you go. And also, here's the update so you can tell I just upgraded. Now, I can go ahead and delete that. Alright, first off, start off by plugging in your PSP into USB mode. Alright, now let's have. Okay, so once you're at the computer, um, you're going to need to download two things. Um, one will be the official firmware for your PSP, and you can go to this site, um, Right here, PSPHero.com. Click official firmware. And, um, go to the very bottom. The 6X series. Now, what we want is version 620. If you're on a regular PSP 1000, 2000, or a 3000, click on 620, version 620. If you're on a PSP Go, download this one. Well, anyways, um, once you download them, um, they'll come in a win WinRAR thing like this. When you download them, just extract it. And, um, make sure it is called eboot.pbp. Not ebooty, but eboot. Now, right click, make a new folder. And call that folder update. Now, drag eboot dot pvp into the update folder okay now the next part is open up the downgrader pack that we downloaded from the description and click the R SRC and drag it into your PSP into the root of your memory card should take a little bit longer Alright, right there, so, it's in the root, so like, you go into it, and the folder is right there, alright, make sure it's there, now go into your PSP folder, then go into game, and on the download, go into PSP, go into game, and drag in the downgrader. Okay, um, Next up, the fol the folder we made, update, drag update into the game folder on your PSP. Alright, now let's head over to the computer. Okay, so once you're back at your PSP, um, exit out of USB mode. Unplug the USB cord. Oh, just so you make sure that it's still the same PSP. There you go. Go um, down to the memory card. And you'll see the update version 620, but you can't install it from there. You have to go into downgrader. Okay, once that boots up, you should get a blue menu like this. Right now, it is detecting the um, the 6.20 firmware. Once it detects it, right here, you can read this warning. Whatever, once it detects it, press X to start SCE updater. Press X. Now, it's verifying the updater once more. Okay. Don't get worried if it stays like this for a while. Okay. Now we are up to the 620 installation. So just go ahead and press start. By the way, this works on all PSPs, including the PSP Go. Just make sure you download the PSP Go firmware. 
instead of the regular PSP if you have a PSP Go. Press, just go on with the installation like you would any other update. X. Oh man. Now, you, you all know these updates, they take a while. So, I'll be back when it finishes. Once this finishes, come up with something like this. Just go ahead and press X. Alright, when you reboot, you'll get something like this. Do not freak out, just press circle. And don't freak out either if your PSP takes a while to reboot. That's normal. Alright, I'll just go ahead and skip the setup. Okay, now our PSP is on now downgraded. And we did not use a Pandora's battery. So, pretty cool. There you go, 620. And I really do not care about the MAC address. Nothing will happen. Okay, there's... An so even if Sony can block me from PSN, whatever, I do not use this PSP to get on PSN. So take a good look at it. I do not care. All right. So we're on 620 now, and thank you for watching my video. And please watch my other video to how to get 620 hen. All right.